Hello. We don't even have to take it over any good reanimator cards. Last I could use this one, huh? <laughs> it's just that easy. Reanimator, not the best shell for Black Lotus, but not the worst either. Black Lotus is better in Reanimator than um than Soul Ring, for example. So you care more about colored mana than colorless. Unless you have a really slow reanimator curve. So there's a couple cards here that point us towards reanimator with From the Catacombs. Maybe Grist. Mana Drain is better than From the Catacombs, but... I kind of like slamming the Catacombs. Sending better signals. Blue Black reanimator is a thing, but Mana Drain puts you towards this like really slow reanimator. I'd like to be reanimating things on like turn two, ideally, which normally you're not doing with this card, but we, we do have a Black Lotus, you know, it's, that's probably good. This is what forcing looks like. Bam, in my deck. Hey, thanks, Matthews Mag. A little Sea Dance action. I'm gonna take this Ashen Rider. It's not the best reanimatorable, but it kind of feels like we just have already succeeded at the step, you know, with these three cards. Like, we technically have a reanimator deck already. <laughs> We're winning. Winning the step draft. It is the initiative reanimation spell, yeah. Yeah, very good card. And a way to bin things, sure. Oh, show it up. He nilp stars, thinks the sob, thinks the 53 months. No, JBB. Ashen Rider's like B tier reanimation target. Natalia's like C tier. Oh, show it up. Hey, Uga Chaka thinks it's 74 months there. I think if I want Primus or like Toxic or get real wild with it. Could be a Noth deck. I don't want to Oath into Una's Prowler. Let's take Frantic Search. That'd show me for passing the Mana Drain, huh? If I moved into blue anyway. Mm, a bit of this. Yeah, my pref preferred reanimation colors are blue-black. Or, I'm sorry, um, black-red. Because black-red tends to be open more than blue-black. But Blue Black's got some good discard cards, too. Cards like Jace and stuff. Chupacabra's a little slow. Good with Recurring Nightmare, which Prowler is also good with. i just take this Fatal Push. Hope I'm not playing Spellseeker, but maybe. Tree Mage for Lotus. We're not like a Lotus combo deck, though. Like, the Lotus is good for us before turn 4 and, and after turn 4. It's like... Not really worth a card to, to tutor for. Spellseeker is getting us, like, you know, potentially, like, a combo card for Reanimator, something that helps our deck work. Like, if you're tricky maging for Black Lotus, you might as well be playing Lotus Bloom, right? That card is not playable. A little different if you're a deck that can, like, use the mana later on. Your Bomberman deck obviously wants to play Trinket Mage. I don't think Spellseeker can get life death, but we're going to have other stuff. I deal with Eleven Tomb and Reanimate and all that shit. A Flash deck? Yeah, we could play Flash. Flash, good way to bin stuff for uh, for reanimation. Snuff Out's good. It does use the life total aggressively, which can be awkward in a deck with like death and reanimate. Something to keep in mind. I think this is one of the few spots where I like Collective Brutality over Inquisition. Forcing Reanimator. Brutality more likely to wield, but I don't think that matters. So much as having the better card does at this point. 
neither cards look amazing, but they're all they're both um you know the only two black cards. You can't really count on a wheel either. Random Mox. This is a fine reanimator cards. Not the worst setup for Recurring Nightmare. And then, like, Duress is great in Reanimator, and the Trolls obviously great in Reanimator. I think you gotta take the Underground Seam. And take the Underground Seam, we're gonna wheel one of these awesome cards, and that's gonna be sick. I think we're blue black, right? We don't have to be, but, like, I think we are. We could still be mono black. I don't love any of this. Troc would be nasty, turn one off a of Black Lotus. I don't think we're gonna have the creatures for Shinobi or Smuggler's Copter. I hope not. We're not becoming slow reanimator. It kind of feels like we might be. I'm like looking at this miscalc pick. Pack three's got the juice. Yeah, I like Chromox in some reanimator decks. If you're like consistently making a Grizzlebrand or an Atraxa, um, you can just like get that card advantage back. Or you can like have mana to do stuff with your Grizzlebrand draws. It's pretty bad if you have like no sources of card advantage though, and that's kind of what we're looking at here. <laughs> Trying to put together a three card combo, can't really afford to pitch cards willy nilly. Especially when you've got other card disadvantage stuff like Frantic Search and Collective Brutality going on. Yeah, I'll play a him. Nice, we get our pick. I'm gonna take the bone shards here. Nice efficient discard outlet. We already have one clink clunky reanimation effect. And the flashback on the other one requires white. Yeah, we have our choice. Oh my god, what do we want? So we don't really have the creature count for Recurring Nightmare. I think we want either Duress or Troll. I'm leaning Troll right now. Just like always have a something to reanimate in the bin. Especially with the reanimate pickup, right? Like turn one, we can go like Mox Ruby, bin Troll, reanimate it pretty cleanly. The Duress would have been nice for a Spellseeker to go grab. Go make sure the, the coast is clear. Cool. I'm starting to feel good about pack three. If we if all four of those cards wield, it means if an entomb is open in pack three, we get it for sure. You'd like some cooler reanimation targets? Yeah, same friend. <laughs> same. Uh -huh. You don't don't worry about signals in pack two. Trouble in paradise. People are already in their decks. No one's like seeing something at the end of pack two and be like, oh, maybe I'm the reanimator deck. Pack one is for signals. The people that you're passing to in pack two are the ones that already sent you signals in pack one. You should have, like, followed those and, like, yeah. All these fucking off-colored mocks in. Should we give it a twist? Little twisty twist. We have a lot of lands here. We need some cards. I don't think we're going to have the blue count for force, unfortunately. I, as much as I love Strix, my twist... A little bit more winning. Put those fucking mocks into work, huh? Ooh, I like a shielded. We can turn one or off Black Lotus too. Wouldn't mind a Grave Titan wheel. Find backup reanimation target. Right now we're like five playables short, but I'm feeling pretty confident about this pack. And this random filler in our board. Because we got that underground sea earlier, we can now take grief over water grave. Poor Oriac Salvagers doesn't have a black lotus. I like Mystical Tutor here. Tutors are real nice and reanimate aim. Get that nice consistency. It's gonna be really good if we get into him too. 
Is there a chance I want this Yogg Will just from the Black Lotus? I'm thinking about Skydiver. Yeah, I don't love either one. I think I'm like more sure to be able to play Skydiver though. Man, we are not getting the Entomb. <laughs> Should know we looking better with the skydiver. Yeah, I can see that. Let me get that Strix wheel. The good reanimation creatures. We have grief. We have troll. Those are both. Those will be both top tier reanimation creatures. Yeah, I'm gonna feel feel the shinobi now. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, Funk type. Yeah, Reanimate's the only one of our cards that works with the opponent's stuff. All the answers are pretty good with Fallen Shinobi. No one wants to block the, the woman death touch. Maybe Turok is a cut. With like the Mox Ruby and the Mox Pearl, it might be actually hard to add the triple black. Despite all our fixing. Oh, you're right. From the Catacombs, it's the opponent too. I forget about it because it costs five goddamn mana. <laughs> but you're right, you're right. So our reanimation effects are reanimate, life death, mason mannequin, and from the catacombs. I want to cut the mannequin, but I I feel like I can't. I guess we have a few ways of tutoring for death and reanimate. And mystically, it's from the catacombs. Maybe cutting mannequin is fine. Cool thing about mannequin is like both of our reanimation targets, if they uh, die, that's I'm like totally fine with that. So the the counter on it's like not even that bad. No, no step on snake. Bone shards is a good card, even if you don't. Even if you're not discarding, right? Frantic Surge is also a solid card. Collective Vitality also a solid card. There's like no reason to like be like, oh, this is too many things. It's like, no, they're all good. They're all good to draw. Even if you don't need to bin something. Una's Prowler isn't. Una's Prowler is the one bad one, but it also works with this Fallen Shinobi, right? We have one more flyer for it. We don't have Exhum, so uh, Una's Prowler's normal downside and reanimator isn't there. Why, this deck is too consistent. Get that trash out of here. You want redundancy. You want redundancy in your combo deck. You want to be able to do the thing every game. Yeah, I'm going to cut the Snuff Out. I love Snuff Out. I think it's a great card. But with, like, Death and Reanimate in the deck, our life total is really a... Really a resource. Fucking love this groove. I wore my uh, my thousand mod socks. <laughs> I have socks from this band. Um, and I wore those to the the pre modern tournament yesterday for luck. I did top eight, so, you know, might have been a little bit of luck there. So this would be ten black sources, not counting Black Lotus. And eight blue sources. Let's go one more black source. Let's 11-7 it. I feel good about that. What did I play? I played a, a white-black control deck that I've been working on. 28 fucking lands. <laughs> The, the issue with white, black, and in uh, pre-modern is that the mana is atrocious. Just atrociously bad. It's a keep. I don't I don't really know what our plan is here, but it is a keep. Be a little bit more exciting if we had an Entomb. I might like Spellseeker for Mind Twist. <laughs> and then try and twist the rest of the hand on turn three. 
Don't know it's coming though. You take it they didn't print good mana back in the day? Um, I mean they did, right? Like the original duels are <laughs> from Alpha, so <laughs> Pre-modern hits this sweet spot though, where you've got allied fetch lands and no duels to grab with them. So if you want good mana, you kinda gotta work for it. Just Exalted Angel and Decree, Daiko. I'm not high on Exalted Angel in a lot of shells, but if you're playing like four Duress, four Gerard's Verdict, it's actually really good. Solid chance of connecting. I think I'm supposed to mannequin at the end of turn, which is a swamp showing. Hey, you Holy Diver, these are 48 months. It's a Bolt Orange. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Commando Zacco, these are the 83 months there. Hell yeah. Hope you're having a good evening. You did it, Commando. Not sure what this anime dead's about, but I'm glad I waited on Mannequin. <laughs> I was about to, I was about to spell seeker for you. I guess I'll cast it. Oh no! <laughs> well. Maybe they won't have another reanimation thing. Looks like it's a blueback mirror. It is a fun game, F3. It's one I enjoy very much. Imperial Seal? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. I like to see that. Yes. <laughs> Misclick there and get a Jace. I win. <laughs> it's me. I'm the winner. So that was pretty good. Oh man, imagine if they hadn't tried to animate dead my uh, my troll there. <laughs> if, they, <laughs> if they hadn't gone for it, they still would have had it. I guess there's nothing saying my him to truck hits Grizzlebrand still, if their hand's different. Why did I lay in cycle instead of just playing the troll on turn two? Like hard casting it off of the, the Mox and the Black Lotus? Well, I gotta land this way. I, was, <laughs> I had an underground scene in play. <laughs> Why are you questioning this? It worked out so well. My my opponent burned an animate dead. What's the what's the, what's the question here? <laughs> this hand's pretty bad against duress. Pretty good if they don't duress though. Let turn one grief play. Odawar is good versus reanimator. Odawar is good eventually versus reanimator. <laughs> Hell yeah, Kane. <clears throat> good luck, uh, good luck in Denver. Weaker than modern. Oh, they only have three cards in hand. Let's mind twist them. I mean, in um, in modern, I wouldn't have kept the hand because I wouldn't have had the cards to pitch. <laughs> Swamp Swamp him to Turok was the hand. I see what you're trying to do over there. <laughs> uh, good stuff. You've not seen that hand in modern? No, no, no. Maybe you could like pitch cast grief and then play another grief. And then that's that hand. 
Round two. Look at how good our mana is. I'm actually going to take the one, yeah. At first I was like excited about trading Strix with just about anything, but now that we've drawn Ophiomancer. Sure. We just need a frantic search here and we'll be good. Maybe bone splinters or whatever. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold the phone. <laughs> Very tempting to hit a land. Too tempting. Stip failed. <laughs> hey, we uh we did some we reanimated a troll instead of casting it last round. We're already ahead on reanimation. <laughs> and we reanimated the opponent's Grizzlebrand. We reanimated Grizzlebrand despite not having Grizzlebrand in our deck. We are crushing the reanimation stip. Hell yeah. So I'm going to cut back on the Fallen Shinobi plan versus White Weenie of all decks. Skydiver staying in. I'm going to cut... Meh. Meh. That Custard Lich might be too chonky. Maybe the him is still better. No Black Lotus. This is shit. Black Lotus off the top. Mm -hmm. Turn two from the Catacombs. Even though the Containment Priest, you know, have stuff out for it. That'd be sexy. That'd be real sexy. Mox will let me steal their Mox this turn. X can't be zero on Skydiver. The Skydiver can ramp me to five, though. Like, I Skydiver, Diver, take Mox, and then I'll have from the Catacombs the turn after. That could be all right. A little awkward to be skydiving before they play Ubazawas. I'll just get a land or a mox here. At least they have to choose between equipping Ubazawas and activating Saga now. If you were asking about Trespasser for the graveyard, for the reanimator mirror, it's really not ideal there. Because <laughs> generally, if your opponent's got a fatty in the bin, um, they'll reanimate it. They'll reanimate it that turn to pl try and play around like you're reanimating stuff. You want instant speed re uh, graveyard hate. Stream deck is not updated. I can fix that. There, should be better. Oh, nice. They didn't equip Vanguard. That's so good for me.
What should I exile? This Vanguard? I kind of want to exile the Saga. Or the Umazawas. And I won't overthink it, I guess. We have this Odawara, which can help you control. Oh, I should have grabbed another Swamp in case we draw the, the Kicker Duder. I grabbed Island in case they like strip mined my other island. And still able to play it and pitch Odawara. Oh, yeah, I think you're right to boom. I don't want my brain fucked that up. Nice. A little P wave action, sure. about reanimating mother of runes i think i dig that oh that could be bad if they replay parallax wave yeah and they will right let's ship it up hey dcm dame that's 84 months I like how people are suggesting bouncing Parallax Wave. <laughs> My opponent's got like four permanents in play. Four possible targets for the Odawara. <laughs> Should we go through each card that we could potentially bounce with Odawara? Bounce with Raven Inspector? B -b bounce the Chrome Mox? So they tutor for an extra land, right? So the Ashen Rider hitting a land I don't think is that great. Yeah, they played their planes, and then they played the Parallax Wave, and then they went and got an extra land. Yeah, so hitting their land would be bad. But at least we can answer their board here. We're just at the trap next turn, though. <laughs> I think I'll leave, like, one card that can give me life in this deck. So we need collective brutality off the top very specifically here. Eh, that's not what that is. All right, you win. Our, our own initiative sinking us there. I have a card that parallax wave. Trap deals five damage, combat. I was at five life. You can see why there's an issue here. Bit of a bum bum, yes. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a bum bum there. To your opponent. To fuck your fucking opponent, they lose five life. From the catacombs. Oh, I guess I could have escaped, yeah. You're right. I haven't played with that card very much. This card is fucking nuts. I think I've literally never escaped it. Completely forgot that was a part of the card. All right, let's see if turn one Turok is good against my opponent's mono white deck here. Yeah, this hand doesn't get there. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong, huh? Did the wave fuck us up? Yeah, they had the initiative going, and I was at five life. So I'm just removing my creatures is good. Oh, 
Oh, they didn't play their second land. They kept, because it was a Chrome Mox hand. The turn one on uh, Turok was good. Noise. Exactly to wit. It'd be like me singing my theme song at karaoke. I think Mystic Tutor is getting Frantic Search. Maybe it's getting him to Turok, huh? Maybe it's getting him here. Card neutral. Wow, those are some good discards. And our death is good if we draw on, you know, something worth reanimating. Hmm. I feel like I need to rework like all my playlists. But who has the time for that, huh? They're discarding Troll of Kazad Doom. Why didn't, why didn't they swamp cycle the troll? <laughs> I guess this will also get them to land, Tom. Huh? But they could have four instead of three. <laughs> it's me from an alternate universe. I mean, I would I would have one more land than the opponent. Not quite a mirror. Get this scry on, sure. I think my Ashen Rider is what I need. Just exile the troll. Hell yeah, bro, bro. So I can discard two cards to keep my Thieving Skydiver. I could also, like, cast Death <laughs> and just get a bang. It's probably better, huh? <clears throat> ah, damn it. Now it's going to get a 4 1 with Menace. Fucking A. Just had to fade. I'm getting a treasure and getting closer to the, from the Catacombs flashback. I think I'm just fucked here. Yeah, GG. I could have drawn like my own from the Catacombs this turn and reanimated something of theirs. Maybe this is a game where I want Trespass aim. Because it like, drains their ability to escape. A little slower. They have a lot of flyers. Maybe Ophiomancer is better than like Prowler. In terms of like getting a creature in for Shinobi. I, I do like Shinobi here. I'm tempted by Custody Lich. I don't know how to play over it. Skydiver maybe. Make this curve clunky as hell. <laughs> MTG Bob being real, real useful there. Hapapi burp day. The hapapiest. We haven't drawn our shielded yet. This is match three with this deck. We are down a game in the finals. I 
actually kind of happy about this dress. I'm going to leave them with fewer cards now. Oh no. <laughs> so my twist is random discard. It's X cards at random. <laughs> I think we got the wrong half of their hand over there. <laughs> yeah. Could have gone better for sure. I was digging for uh, reanimate to hit their Ashen Rider. I think we can pack now. You win. If you do, if you fire off the bone shards there, and discard your last card, then they just draw seven in response, and you lose very easily, right? Felt like we needed a little some something, something, something to be on board when the dust settled. Oh, a nice little two in one. I saw a little two-in-one record. The best record possible. All right. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this next draft. But we can certainly fire it up. Yeah. 